Hey everyone and welcome to another one of my tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you how to fold my own design which is my origami angelfish. So we're going to start colored side up and we're going to fold in half diagonally. Make sure to have sharp and precise creases as always. And unfold and again fold in half diagonally except in the other direction. Now unfold that and turn the paper over and fold in half horizontally. It's cool because I actually designed this model a few days ago while I was at the beach so that was my inspiration. And so you unfold that and then fold in half vertically. Now rotate the paper and push down on the sides to create the base for our angelfish. So now fold the top edge to the center. and make sure to crease that sharply and then unfold and take the very first flap and squash it down sort of to create something called a squashed fold now turn it over and again fold the top edge to the center now unfold and take the first layer squash it down to create a squash fold and squash it on the existing creases So once you do that, fold the flap to the right and turn the paper over and again fold the flap to the right. Now take the bottom and fold it up to the top but only do it on one layer. So once you crease that, you're going to fold the top edge to the center. Alright, now fold the bottom edge to the center also. Now unfold and fold the fold it up on the center line and squash down on the crease that you just made. Alright, so make sure it's flattened and then you're going to turn the paper over and do the same thing on this side. So fold the bottom to the top on one layer. And then fold the top edge to the center. Now fold the bottom edge to the center. Now unfold and fold it up on the center line. And you use the existing creases to squash it down. Alright, so now fold the left flap, bottom flap, to the very top. Crease it. Now unfold and open up the model a little bit and 
makes it make the same fold that you just did except inside the model. Now turn the paper over and do the same thing on this side. So take the bottom flap and fold it to the top. Now open up the model a little bit and do the same fold that you just did except inside the model. And now make sure both of the bottom flaps come out and you can see them. And you're gonna fold the top down and so you're gonna crease it in a way that makes it go inside of the model so crease on the crease that was already there except mountain fold it instead of valley fold it if you know what that means Now turn the paper over and of course do the same thing on this side. So fold the flap down and open up the model a little bit and fold the paper into the mo inside the model on the existing crease. Alright, so now we're very close to being done so we're gonna fold the one of those bottom flaps up to as far as it will go up we're gonna fold the edge to the bottom edge now unfold and on the crease that you just made fold it up to the line that's just above it now unfold and pinch the crease that you just made and use the crease that's just above it and fold it up. And now open the model a little bit and put it inside the model. Now do the same thing on the other side. So fold the flap up as far as it will go and then fold the edge to the bottom And then on the crease that you just made, you're going to fold it to the line that's just above it. Now pinch the crease that you just made. And using the crease that's just above it, you're going to fold it up, upwards, to look like the other flap. Now put it in the model. All right, so now there's basically just a few optional steps that you can do to make it look nicer. So turn the paper over and fold the sides to the center. All right, so now fold the edge to the crease line that you just made and unfold and do it on the other edge. Now crease and you're gonna fold the edge to the bottom, the side edge to the bottom but not all the way, just a little bit. All right, so now on the creases that you just made, you're gonna pinch it, and you're gonna do something called a rabbit ear fold, which is basically just that. And then you're gonna let, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. But make sure that the creases aren't too sharp, or else, 
It might not look as good. All right, so pull the side edge to the bottom. You know, unfold and make a rabbit ear fold. And then kind of let the light, um, the creases go out a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna, now you can like sort of bend those flaps to however you want it. And then take the smaller flaps and you can just pinch them to, have, to however you like. And then, once you do that, that is your finished angelfish. I hope you like this video anyway. I hope to see you next time. Bye.